Hey guys, Coach Tarek back for animating the movement. So this is our first actual uh, movement breakdown, uh, looking at the external cueing that I discussed in the introduction uh, of this series. Uh, a common movement, uh, one movement that most potentially most coaches will be using at some point is the kettlebell swing. Now what I want you to think about here is that the swing is what's called a ballistic movement. So it's more of a power based, it's more of an integrative movement. So when we think external cueing, we want to integrate. It's, it's, a, it's a series of a compound joints, muscles, if you will, um, ligaments, tendons, working together to produce that desired outcome effect. So in order to achieve the outcome here, in the swing, we're going to think of two phases. We've got the down phase and the up phase. Now, as I explore through this movement, I want to focus on one phase here, and this is the down phase. Because what we want to do is we want to teach movement in a technical way, but we then need to ensure that this animation of the cues is affected, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or whether it's for groups. So I'll show you what I mean here. So typically, a swing, we have a down phase and an up phase. Now you may have a client who all of a sudden falls into this default, okay? So the default may look like this. And so you may say, okay, the hips are actually dropping to the floor, but what you want is the hips to go back, back. So you're trying to use this descriptive language like, just make sure you're not sitting or squatting into the movement, okay? And at the same time, I want you to make sure that you're looking up, that your eyes are facing this way. And by the way, elbows, just make sure that your elbows are just tucked a little bit. Too much information at once. So what we wanna do is look at that one thing that will change the entire movement. So in the down phase, what I want you to think of this is <clears throat> the hips acting as if they are a hinge of a door. So I'm not gonna reference the hips, so I'm gonna say here, it's like the hinge of a door. So the focal point now becomes the hips. That's key because you're gonna get the clients to focus on. Focus on having you come down like as if you're opening the door and then closing the door at the top. Opening and closing. Different language, so now I've used the analogy like a door, the hinge. And the key here is, as you're describing, this is the descriptor, is point to the hips and visualize. Hips of a door, hips of a door. Further, we may want to have the direction in which you want them to go. Let's say we have a wall here. So I want you to open and close that door. So as you're coming down, I want you to open the door toward the wall. Close the door, open the door towards the wall, close the door. Close, open. So that's one of the uh, analogies, metaphor that I really love to use is this idea of the hips, rather than flexing and extending, being like a hinge. And so that way, they're focusing, remember, on the hips as a, like the hinge of a door. And you can use a direction toward. So remember, there's a description and a direction. And I'll get uh, in more involved in, in the following videos where I'll take you through some, some more array of cues that will help you. One more that I'll give you for this is the idea at the top phase now, we want to focus on the swing. Now again, the, some of the problems you may encounter are clients not coming through on the swing, a real slow movement. So what you want to do is use this animation to a whole new level. So what I'll say is at the top, pop at the top. And I'll start to use even like a neural type uh, motivator. So I'll use a clap, pop at the top, pop at the top. So that way, there's this little bit of um, language, play of language, play of words that will achieve the desired outcome. So it looks like this.
pop, 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 and reset. So rather than me trying to say, okay, I want to make sure that your hips are fully extended at the top, just with your arms there, just make sure that your arms, everything's at eye level here at the same time. Again, I'm distilling all of this technical complex language into packing it into and something that you can absorb and teach it, transfer it. So the idea is, the question is this, how do you get clients to acquire knowledge and to retain the knowledge? This is one effective way of doing that. That's the first in the series of animating the queue. Use it, give me some feedback. Uh, I'd love to see um, the success stories. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.